Good day and peace be with you. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you, dear Lord Father, for bringing us midweek through the working week. Lord God, we thank you. We do not take it for granted. Lord God, we thank you for faithful servants like Paul. Through their divinely inspired words and life story, we learn what it means to keep running forward, dear Lord Father, to keep running forward into the future that you have planned for us. Yes, it's hard to forget God. We tend to cling to things that have already happened, wishing they would have gone away. We tend to cling to people hurting us or situations that have not favoured us, dear Lord Father. It's hard to forgive. However, even harder to forget. Help us, dear Lord Father, to forgive and to stay focused on the present and to look forward to the future. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our reading continues today from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, verses 5 to 18. And the theme for reflection is, count your blessings and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us listen to the word. And the Levites, Jeshua, Kadmiel, Benai, Hashabiniah, Sheribiah, Hodiah, Shebiniah, and Pethihai, said, Stand up and praise the Lord your God, who is from everlasting to everlasting. Blessed be your glorious name, and may it be exalted above all blessing and praise. You alone, the Lord, you made the heavens, even the highest heavens, and all their starry host, the earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them. You give life to everything, and the multitudes of heaven worship you. You are the Lord God. You chose Abraham and brought him out of Ur of the Chaldeans and named him Abraham. You found his heart faithful to you and you made a covenant with him to give him his descendants, the land of Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Amorites Perizzites, Jebusites and Girgashites. You have kept your promise because you are righteous. You saw the suffering of our ancestors in Egypt. You heard their cry at the Red Sea. You sent signs and wonders against Pharaoh, against all his officials and all people of his land. For you knew how arrogantly the Egyptians treated them. You made a name for yourself, which remains to this day. You divided the sea before them so that they passed through on dry ground, but you hurled their pursuers into the depths like a stone into mighty waters. By day you led them with a pillar of cloud and by night with a pillar of fire to give them light on the way they were to take. You came down on Mount Sinai and you spoke to them from heaven. You gave them regulations and laws that are just and right and decrees and commands that are good. You made known to them your holy Sabbath and gave them commands, decrees and laws through your servant Moses. In their hunger, you gave them bread from heaven. In their thirst, you brought them water from the rock. You told them to go in and take possession of the land you had sworn with uplifted hand to give them. But they, our ancestors, became arrogant and stiff-necked, and they did not obey your commands. They refused to listen and failed to remember the miracles you performed among them. They became stiff-necked and in their rebellion appointed a leader in order to return to their slavery. But you are a forgiving God, gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. Therefore, you did not desert them, even when they cast for themselves an image of a calf and said, This is your God, who you brought out of Egypt. Nor were they committed awful blasphemies. Here ends our reading for today. Thanks be to God. Remember to share the good news with others, draw others to Christ, encourage others to know the word better for themselves. Have a blessed day. Amen.